Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Karina. I'm David. And we are Pickleball, Pickleball Hawaii. Hawaii. And today we are bringing you our first review of the newest paddles by A11N Sports. They sent us two paddles, which we are really excited to go out on the courts and play with and share our review with you guys. Absolutely. So? Show them what we got. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I want to do talk about how they sent us these paddles, which is super cool. They sent us these paddles in these beautiful boxes with beautiful packaging, and I've never received a paddle like this. They usually come in some plastic, maybe just thrown into an envelope. Sometimes, yeah, envelope with bubble wrap. So this, cool. this is showing you that they really do take pride on how they present the paddle to us, which I really liked. Yeah, and it was very protected during shipment all the way over to Hawaii. All right, so the paddle that I'm reviewing is their Zenith C7, which is their elongated paddle. Now, I'm a fan of elongated paddles because it gives me a better reach, and I have a two-handed backhand, which is killer, by the way. But so for me, the elongated paddles really do provide a better, better benefit over the standard paddles mm -hmm. out there on the um, court. Now, we have tried numerous paddles from various companies throughout the year that we've been playing pickleball, from Eula, Engage, Selkirk, Electrum, Diadem, and now the A11N. And I was really surprised about how well they actually performed on the courts. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, I wasn't too sure what to expect with this type of paddle, but uh, playing with the paddle on the court, I was very surprised on how much control and power that these paddles generated. So, Yeah, and we actually took it out on the courts uh, with our pickleball community during open play, and there were various players that actually wanted to buy them, but they are not out yet. They're actually coming out this week, and what's really cool is that we have a discount code to share with you guys at the end of the video. Um, so with the Zenith C7, um, it is, well, both of their paddles are actually have this really great resistant edge guard on here. And then they also have the carbon spin texture. Now it's actually reinforced raw 3K carbon, which is kind of, I think, unique um, for the paddles out there. And it, what that did is it allowed for amazing spin on these paddles. Agreed, I would yes. think that the spin on this paddle was about a nine and a half out of 10. It was really kind of amazing out there. Um, and then the thickness is a little bit thicker than I'm used to. It is a 16 millimeter. I'm currently playing with Electrum's 13 millimeter. Um, and so this one was a little bit heavier for me. Um, and thicker, mm -hmm. but it actually provide a lot of control and consistency out there. Um, so as much as I like the 13 millimeter Electrum, I was really surprised and happy with this one. Uh, the weight on this one is about 8.4 ounces. So it's not too heavy, not too light. It's mm -hmm. in the middle weight of the paddles, um, which I think actually provides the control that a lot of players need out there. Some good power too. Mm -hmm. Overall, for me, I would rate this paddle about an eight and a half out of 10, which I think is a really good rating for a brand new paddle coming out on the market. Agreed. And it's actually similar to the Engage. So I think that was a really easy transition for me because I had been playing with the Engage for quite a while. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we know about the C7, David? Now we will talk about the C8. So this paddle here, same specifications other than this is going to be our standard paddle here. Um, so the paddle is going to have a, a better, uh, I feel a, a better sweet spot here just because it's a little bit wider. Uh, 16 millimeter, uh, same weight as the elongated. It's about average about eight and a half ounces. Uh, 
I really like this paddle. Uh, I'm normally playing with a Yola paddle right now, which has a lot of touch. And I felt like when I picked up this paddle and hit it on the courts, I felt like all of my shots were almost identical, which is saying a lot. Uh, so as far as dinking, I had a lot of control and I feel like that has a lot to do with the face of the paddle. And being a 16 millimeter, uh, I get a lot of control. And I would say, uh, it, I would say it's probably medium as far as power goes. Uh, if I had to rate it uh, zero to 10, I'd probably give it maybe about an eight and a half. Uh, can still generate a lot of power. Uh, I do like the paddle. Uh, I know taking it out on the courts, a lot of people uh, really like playing with these paddles too, so. We know that uh, whoever tries these paddles, you will love them. Um, I feel like this is kind of a, an easy go-to paddle where you can just pick up this paddle, almost anyone, doesn't matter your skill level, and you'll just, you know, you'll be hitting like a pro, so. And what's better than going out on the courts, feeling like a pro, and actually not spending a lot of money either. I think these paddles are gonna retail for about $130. They're coming out in February and our discount code for mm -hmm. you guys, we are so happy to share it with you. You get 20% off. We're not making any commission. We're giving our commission to you guys. So the discount code is PBHI20. That's for Pickleball Hawaii and the 20% <laughs> discount.